Okay, so now I'm going to review something I got my son for his birthday recently, which I didn't leave. <laughs> definitely didn't get him just because I wanted to review it. Honest. Sure. So we're going to look at this and this and and this and this and this this is if I can make sure they're all on screen is a where's the box gone celestial warriors dinosaur something yeah this is from Amazon it's not very expensive I think there's a £20 set and there's a £30 set we'll get to it so we've got uh, Stegosaurus maybe uh, Triceratops potentially uh, what's that like a Pachycephalosaur or something stupid like that I don't know I'm not a dinosaur guy uh, what I would have called a brach uh, brontosaurus, but apparently they don't exist, so brachio? I don't know. Diplodocus? I don't know. And some sort of gremlin. I'm sure it's supposed to be some like T-Rex or something, but look at the proportions on it. So weird. So wacky. Size comparison. Blur. 86 Blur. So they're all... Mm, Deluxe-ish. So uh, we've had a quick look at them all. Uh, they've got these sort of vehicle modes kind of things. And uh, so what you do is you fold the tail in, fold the legs up, and I do like the soft ratchet. I'm, I can't deny. And hey, look, now they've, it's got wheels, Nicky. That's, yeah, that's what they tell you to do. One similar sort of thing. Wheels up, wheels up, wheels up, wheels up. Sure. This one. Sure. These two take a little bit more effort. Well, this one at least. So what you have to do on this one is fold the legs up. Fold this in. And this, I actually had to get a knife to get out because it's almost impossible to get out of there. Fold this back, turn the head around, and rotate it back. And that, is that as far back as it goes? Smash it. <laughs> so it's always looking up in the air. And that is really stupid. And this thing, this this weird gremlin thing. Yeah, so fold the legs back. Lift up the arms. It's got a little wheel there. Right? Doesn't doesn't work as well. I don't know if I've got the legs wrong. That's that's not a car. Don't lie to me. It's fine. After all, boys and girls, they combine, and that's all we're here for. So let's do it. Should we start with the legs? Right. So we can get this one in its car mode, and there you go. That was difficult, wasn't it? Think uh, original Megazord. Uh, that one, there you go. Was it Daijujin? Something like that? I, I could be wrong. We get this one, and we rotate the feet on the back. Give us this. Got the back, there we go. And then we rotate these little arms all the way down. And this is where it gets funky. We need to open up this panel, bring the head down, and there's a certain point where we can push this out. And if you go too far, you can't do it. So there we go. Get that all the way into place. Get that down where it's supposed to go. Bring this off. And does it just stay like that? That doesn't seem right. Does it go inside? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Ah. There we go. That's the body. So we need use big connections here into there. There we go. And into there. All right. Let's put you over there. Put the camera up slightly. There we go. Get this one. We can ex 
and there we go. And rotate this out. There's this little C peg that goes into a little connection there. Straighten this all the way out. Rotate the tail to there. And if you don't notice, there is actually an elbow. I have to move the leg out of the way a little bit, but there is actually an elbow. So that's quite cool. I have to rotate this one down as well, actually. There you go. Big connection. Goes in there. There we go. Try and get this game all nice and standing. There we go. Yeah, this one. Now, this is one my son actually had to ask me for help for, because if you shove these too far back, they get stuck, and there's no way to get them back. These little arms into there. So we're just going to put them about there somewhere. Okay? They're out of the way, but we don't get them stuck. Okay? Yeah, we're going to separate that. Clip. Hole. Rotate this around. Do we have to put it around, or do we have to put the legs through? I can't remember. Tail. It's about there. Is that about right? Still got a bit of an elbow, but we can't do anything with it. Is that fully extended? I think so. Ah, we'll plug it into there. That doesn't seem long enough, does it? Give me a second. Let me see if I can play with it. Okay, without opening it up and looking properly, that's as good as it's going to get. So this arm is longer and has an elbow bend, and this one doesn't. Bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And there it is as the robot. And that... Quite basic, but it works. And that comes with these items. I don't know if they're supposed to connect to the animals. I've checked the instructions. They don't seem to. Okay. So what we have here is a gun of some variety. With a dinosaur head moulded into it like that. So we'll put that in the kind of fiddly arm. Okay. You have these two pieces, and I believe what you're supposed to do is... Let me just look at the instructions. Right, good. Slide these into here, like this. And now it's an axe, and I'll put this in the arm that can actually move. There you go. So you've got a little pew 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 pew. And, yeah, you can... And... That's kind of cool, right? Size comparison, speedier blur. It's got to be getting on towards the leader. Let's bring the camera back a little bit. Uh, get myself out of the way. There you go. That's a fair size, right? But you see, boys and girls, this is the ten pound set, and I've been holding back on you because I didn't get the five pack ten uh, twenty pound set because this one comes with this. This is the, what do they call it? Pterosaur. Of course it is. Why, why wouldn't it be? With a silent P. And it looks like that. And then, you know, the wings fold. Go like that. And they fold there. Up and down slightly. Neck will go all this. And it's got a tail. Yay! Mouth opens just a little. But it's alright. And this has little wheels, so you sort of... I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or something, but... we It's not good, alright? None of this works. But what you can do is you take the tail off, pull the head off, and then you take this apparatus, fold the wings back a little bit. See these two clips? Just like the Ninja Megazord from the uh, Power Rangers movie, this can connect onto the back... And now it has wings. There you go. Now it has wings. Uh, let's bring this up a little bit more. And the wings can expand like there. Ooh, this little paw, claws move. Look at that. Without breaking the mould. There you go. But now, kids, we have pieces left over. And before we get into it, you know I said these arms, don't stick them in too far. My son, trying to get them out without thinking, because he got one stuck, asked me, instead of me getting, you know, a knife, he tried using this and snapped it. So 
but I've actually had to glue this back together. Doesn't look that bad, everything's fine, but I'm just warning you. So we have these pieces, and what do we do with this? Well, if we take the axe, and we take the gun, move that out of the way for a second, we can straighten out the handle, take these pieces out, and I believe, where are we going with this? Let me glance at the instructions briefly, right, good, okay. So this goes, yes, there, and I actually had to put oil on this because this was stuck and I was worried it was going to snap off, so I put a bit of oil on that. And then these pieces slide into here, yep, that way, and then the head goes into here, open the mouth a little bit, and then this goes into a little hole in there. There you go. And now he has Ginormo Super Sword. And that's kind of cool. We'll plug that into there. So, again, it's a little bit silly. It's a little bit over the top. But considering this was like... With the, the set of six, rather. The set of six was like 30 quid. And yes, you're paying a tenner for the wings and the bigger sword but if you didn't have it you'd always be wanting the wings so you might as well just get the set and the shouting down says hooray uh, and the legs go out a little bit these are weird I feel like there should be more articulation out of these but you know <laughs> deal with what we've got I don't want to break it so uh. so that is let me bring out the box celestial warriors dinosaur six in one vehicle you can see it on amazon i'll see if i can put a link i'm not an affiliate so it doesn't really matter to me but it's quite cool you can still get it it's like 30 quid or you can go for the cheap ones 20 it's up to you was it 30 or was it 26 something but i'm gonna scarf her so i should be i should be wretched i shall see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.